Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Appa in case you guys are new here and today I am just planning to do things around the house honestly like laundry, taking some clothes to Goodwill because I don't really want to keep a lot of clothes anymore. I just have been decluttering a lot. There just has been a lot of things from like college and stuff which I don't really wear and I did do a declutter early this summer but I decluttered some more items and some of these items someone was gonna like pick them up and stuff but they just never come and they never pick it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to Goodwill because there's just no point of having too much clutter in the apartment. So that's what I'm going to do and my gym class is in the evening today i have homework to do i have laundry to do not too exciting my semester kind of has been boring honestly but it is what it is i'm probably going to throw in like a couple of like baking and cooking clips of me this week as well so let's go to goodwill right now Okay guys, I did just get back from Dunkin' Donuts. I just don't really like taking my camera with me because, you know, cameras are very delicate and I've already like busted one camera and I don't want to bust this one because I actually really, really like the Canon G7X just in case you were wondering. This is the pumpkin cold brew, the cream cold brew and this is my first time trying it and i don't know guys <laughs> i don't know it's i feel like it's just a little too watery for me i don't know I understand why i'm a bigger fan of starbucks than Dunkin Donuts but I also got a muffin the pumpkin muffin this is really good I am mainly impressed you know with their bakery stuff so yeah this was really nice but the cold brew is kind of okay-ish just realized that I had my hand over the microphone but I absolutely love this candle this is by a brand from Big Lots just makes sense here on YouTube, introduced it to me, and I just love it, y'all. Best in love, it's just so strong, so affordable. Even as a one wick, it is doing really well in an open concept area. So I'm loving this one. Literally got ready to go to the grocery store, just kidding. I just wanted to play with some makeup earlier today and this is kind of what we have. Just playing with makeup earlier. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. Totally interrupted me, but anyways, I'm about to go to the grocery store. You're probably gonna see a haul. You guys know the drill. I just love food. I love cooking, I love baking, and I cook a lot at home. However, today I think I'm going to probably pick up something from like a restaurant or like quick eat places because I don't really have anything cooked right now and I have other things to do today but that's where I'm heading is Aldi and maybe Target because one of you guys actually posted a picture of a lip balm which is fall related from EOS and I can find it at Target so that's where I'm heading right now we're getting some unhealthy food because there's no food at home and I need some energy. It's noon right now. <laughs> Look at that sign. It says both lands open instead of both lanes open. Always check your order when you get something from any drive-thru, honestly, but especially McDonald's. Sorry, I'm just like trying to situate you guys. But there we go. Okay, let's see what I got. I got mini french fries and two 
cheeseburgers because they didn't have the mac chicken so i was like okay i'll just get the cheeseburger but um, nothing exciting it was from the dollar menu y'all know i'm a cheap graduate student so we're trying to survive here so i'm going to go ahead and eat this and then go to aldi Okay guys, I have a grocery haul here for you. 90% of it is Aldi, 5% Target, and 5% Walmart. Okay, so I got these Santa Fe style tortilla strips. I think that would be quite nice for salads. I also got some eggs, use them all the time. Ground beef, chicken, 
chicken breast, I think. And then still cold brew coffee. I do like this. I actually saw the pumpkin spice one as well, but I didn't get that one because I think it had a decent amount of sugar in it, so I just didn't get it. And then this one is just the Baramiso, Barasimo, something like that brand, which is all the exclusive and I got the pumpkin spice creamer this was less in sugar than the cold brew and the next item here is almond milk unsweetened some heavy whipping cream some nutmeg bananas butter because I do bake for my Bible study and then some double chocolate chip cookie or sorry brownie by the specially brand absolutely love that one this is like a good dupe for the Ghirardelli ones and then some fried onions some mozzarella sticks pumpkin spice coffee and then this snack selects it has like cranberry and cheese and then I have some brown sugar sour cream some mushrooms, keto cookies, snickerdoodle, also chocolate chip. I got both of those. And then some pita chips, which are caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar flavor. Some bell pepper. And then I think I forgot to show you this one, which is just my macadamia nut bar, which I always get bacon and then some ice cream as well keto ice cream i don't know the flavor i think it's peanut butter and fudge yep that's what it is so i got these fragrance free bar soaps these bar soaps were from all of you guys and then i also got the fake uh, vanilla essence i guess some stevia my holy grail hair stuff which is this hair lotion with castor oil I've used this for years. The Secret Outlast Sweat and Odor Unscented. Also got this um, body care item, which I was not planning on getting, but I was really curious. And that's by Bodycology and Cozy Fireside S'more. Some ground ginger. I also got some wax melts, you guys, and I'm looking for the third one. I think... It's somewhere in my bag, but these are the two that I have here right now. Coconut, pumpkin, macaroon. I feel like the light is not doing any justice, so let me just do this. So that's what that one looks like. And then apple cider donuts. So really nice. And then I got this from the Dollar Tree, actually. My fave color is autumn. It's plastic, of course, but I think it would be good for iced coffees. And then this eyeliner from Dollar Tree as well. It is waterproof. I am excited to try it. It's by a brand called Ioni. Got these lip balms from EOS and just makes sense here on YouTube. Introduced it to me. Um, I think she posted it on her Instagram. So I'm excited for it because it is seasonal. I also got this hand soap by the Everspring brand. What is my camera doing, guys? Give me a second. Okay, there we go. It was trying to focus on two different things, but this is the Everspring brand, which is obviously Target exclusive. I wanted to give their hand soaps a shot, so I got this one in clove and nutmeg. Okay, so the last item that I ended up getting is the spatula with two cookie cutters and this was from their dollar section the reason as to why i ended up getting this is because you guys my spatula is kind of worn out and i needed a new one also i'm not that big on halloween i know a lot of people love halloween um you know it's fun to maybe like go to halloween parties and stuff but i don't really decorate for ha halloween but this was the only Thing I could find which was affordable and I really wanted the cookie cutters so that's that so that is it guys a lot of items but I know I'm gonna put it to good use